Hello, it is I, Napoleon, the biggest bully in Europe. And it is I, Sir Isaac Newton, the smartest person who ever lived. Today I will explain to you the difference between endothermic and exothermic chemical reactions. Why do I, Napoleon, need to know these things? I have cannons. Little short man, little short man. Knowledge is power. Cannons are power, my egghead companion. Those with knowledge know that exo means out and thermic means heat. So exothermic means out heat. Yes, or more precisely, heat comes out of the reaction and it feels hot. Ah, uh, such as the reaction in the barrel of my cannons. That I, Napoleon, the biggest bully in Europe, used to push people around. Yes, all burning and exploding reactions are exothermic. So are reactions that cause light, like light sticks. So exothermic reactions feel hot because energy comes out of them. Ah, uh, my cannons are hot. When I fire them. I love my cannons. Very good little man. Now endo means in, and thermic still means heat. So endothermic means in heat. I think I had a cat like that once. Okay, so anyway, endothermic means heat goes into it. Things that require heat for a reaction are endothermic. Such as cooking food. Cooking food is endothermic. Is that why raw meat feels cold? Yes, the meat is sucking heat out of your hand, and it feels cold. The meat is trying to cook. Ah, uh, this is why we put raw food on a hot fire, so the heat goes into it. Yes, endothermic means heat goes in, to make the reaction go. An exothermic means out heat because the reaction makes heat, like in my lovely cannons. And do not forget that exothermic reactions will burn your eyebrows and endothermic will freeze them. I love my cannons. No one else will go out with me. Do not look at me. <laughs>